Now we have QBC, we have WBC. Now the last process we need to look at is the process CA. The process CA is an isodensity process which is a constant density process. For a constant density and because we know that the uh, the density is related to the volume as this quantity n by rho. So if density remains constant and we only have the molar mass, we can straight away say that density varies proportionally with volume in terms of a constant uh, volume, a constant density of a constant volume process. And thus, this isodensity process is nothing but an isochoric process. For an isochoric process, which is the process C to A, this is going to be the work done from C to A, this is going to be C because this is an isochoric process. So we have found out another part. Now we need to find out the Q here. So the QCA, this is going to be equal to delta UCA, which is nothing nothing but CV times delta T. This is going to be R by 5 by 3 minus 1 times delta T. The temperature at A we determine that to be P naught M by R O naught. The temperature at C we determine this to be 2 P naught M by R O naught. So the temperature is decreasing towards A and hence this is going to be minus P naught M by R O naught. This is going to be equal to minus 3 by 2 P not M by R. Now because we have all the W's and all the Q's, we can determine what is the Q rejected by the gas. The gas rejects heat in the process AB and in the process CA. So Q gas is nothing but QAB and QCA because in the process BC the gas was given here. So this is going to be nothing but minus P naught M by rho naught times LA2 minus 3 by 2 times P naught M by sorry this is going to be P naught M by rho naught. This R is going to cancel with this R. So we will be left with rho naught only. So this is the net heat rejected by the gas. This can be written as minus P naught M by rho naught 3 by 2 plus L A2. If you want to write it numerically, 3 by 2 is roughly 3 by 2 is 1.5 and L N2 is roughly 0.693. So this is going to give you a result as uh, 2.693. 2.193. Anyways, so this is going to be the Q rejected by the gas. So this is also taken care of. This is also taken care of. We have found out the work done. We have found out the Q rejected. Now we need to find out the eta cycle. To find out the efficiency of the cycle, we need to find out the net work. Net work is nothing but the summation of these three. So W net is going to be equal to P naught N by rho naught. 1 minus Ln2. The second thing what we need to find out to find efficiency is the Q which is supplied. This is going to be the heat which is not rejected by the gas in the, in the process. So this process is only one which is the process B2C. In the process B2C, it is V who gives the uh, heat to the gas which we found out to be 5 by 2. P0 M by 0. So we have both these quantities 
Now we need to divide this by this and thus we get eta as 1 minus ln2 by 5 by 2 into 100 percent. So this will give us 2 by 5 1 minus ln2 into 100 percent efficiency. So this solves the third part of the question. This is how we solved this problem. Let us look at another problem. In this problem, we have given a PV diagram. This is an isomeric process followed by an adiabatic process. This is then followed by an isochoric process and this is finally followed by adiabatic in an isothermal process. So this is our point A, this is our point B, this is point C, this is point D and back to A. So this is the cycle we are looking at. It is said that we use helium. AB as you can see is an isobaric process. BC is an adiabatic process. CD is an isochoric process. And DA is an isothermal process. There is some more information given. It is said that the maximum volume by the minimum volume in the cycle, this ratio is nothing but 8 root 2. It is also said that the maximum temperature and the maximum minimum temperature ratio, this ratio is also given as 4. This is the data which is given. What we need to find out is this. To do this, the first and foremost thing that we really need to do is find out the state of the gas at each and every point. Once we have the state of the gas at A, B, C and D, we can easily find out the work done and the heat rejected accepted by the gas at all processes and thus we can find out the efficiency of the cycle. So this is the general process that we are going to follow. Moreover, we can from a PV diagram, this, this is supposed to be a PV graph. From a PV diagram, we can use the data for Vmax by Vmax directly. But we cannot use the data of Vmax by Vmax. Because we do not know at which point we have a maximum temperature and which point do we have a minimum temperature. All we can say is at A we are going to have Vmax. And at C and D we are going to have Vmax. This is all we can infer from the data and the graph given. So let us start analyzing different processes and get hold of certain data. It is known that the process A to B is an isobaric process. So the pressure will remain same. If the pressure remains same, let's say we have PA, VA and PA. This goes to PA being the same, VB and TB. Let us also say that this is equal to P0, V0 and T. So the first state, let me write it somewhere here. We can get rid of this now. 